This 300 kilograms fat man is out of breath. Seven people are trying to get him out. Suddenly someone farted. The group burst out laughing. The boss immediately asked who let it out. It must be the one who didn't click on it. Everyone looked at each other. No one said anything. At that moment, the camera panned to the fat man. Could it be him? It's an accident. The police checked the fat man's heartbeat. But the fat was too thick to be heard. Then he felt the fat man's armpit. And he found a pulse. Oh my god. He was still alive. They immediately rushed him to the hospital. At the hospital he was still unresponsive. The doctor was so tired of just putting a bandage on him. It was the seventh emoji on your phone. Dr. House suspected that the fat man had a brain problem. He wanted to do a CT scan to check his brain waves first. But the test was easy. It's hard to get the fat man to do the test. The cot can only hold 200 kilograms. The fat man weighs 300 kilograms. The machine must be destroyed on the spot if we push it in. The two male doctors are afraid of taking responsibility. Lily says it was Hauser's idea to do it anyway. If anything happened, he would be docked his salary. So they called for help and lifted the fat man up. Luckily, the bed was quite sturdy. There was nothing wrong with it. When the test results came back, there was nothing wrong with him. His brain was healthy. But before the doctor could take a closer look, he woke up suddenly. Then a click was heard. <laughs> All you hear is a click. A huge 200 pound machine was scrapped. The young doctor. And it's the sixth emoji on your phone. But there was no need to worry about that. The men pulled the fat man out first. <laughs> Howarth was very surprised. If the fat man wasn't sick in the head, why had he been sleeping and then suddenly woken up? Just as he was about to continue his examination of the fat man, he made a condition that no one had expected. He wants to be discharged. I was frightened by this idea. He told the doctor that he was in good health. He could eat and drink all the time. He was just a little bit fat. When the doctor saw that, he thought, that's not a little bit fat. This is obviously very fat. Although the doctors were worried about the fat man's health, but the hospital had no no right to keep him out of the hospital. House always thought there was something wrong with the fat man. He had to find out today. The fat man, who was eating, was not happy. He immediately threw away his spoon. He said he wouldn't let House examine him again. He had no choice. Howarth had to ask his assistant to check in. He was then released from the hospital. The next day, the fat man, in his smart suit, was brought to the hospital door. Just as he was getting up to go home, suddenly his feet went weak. Good thing the nurse wasn't behind him, otherwise it would have been a disaster. The fat man's fainting made House conclude that, that he must be sick in the head, so he prepares to operate on him. The fat man got the third look on your phone when he heard that, he's only slightly fat, why should he have an operation? He didn't agree to it at all. The nurse advised that if you don't listen to the doctor, then it will affect your bowels, you will also eat less. The fat man agreed immediately. Howarth then began to operate on the fat man. The results of the examination showed that he was not sick in the head either. But why did he keep fainting? Howarth then thought that the fat man was such a good eater. It could be a complication of diabetes. He then asked the nurse to give him a pill to lower his blood sugar. He was very resistant. He asked to be discharged again. He then spilled the medicine. Howarth had to force it down. But as he struggled, House noticed that the fat man's hand was swollen. There were also dense red spots on his hands. This made House think of a disease. It was cellular lung cancer. The examination revealed that the fat man did have lung cancer. Answer, and it was terminal. He only had two months to live. The fat man was instantly disillusioned. He always thought he was not sick, but he never thought he would get such a serious disease. Finally, the fat man said two words silently. I never smoke. Say the vein. The nurse left the room in distress. You never know which will come first, tomorrow, or an accident. Although it's important to live in the present. But fans must have regular health checks. Don't forget to subscribe. For more videos like this, on Recap Next.